Welcome back to CAP TV. I'm Madison. Tonight, we will be taking some time to appreciate the beauty of art right after the break. Hey, what's up, guys? This is John Kerry here at WXCU Radio. And today, I'm playing my radio show where I play my own music on this station, which is really cool. You get to do that. And I get a bunch of feedback from callers coming in and it really helps me with the overall mastering and other mixing aspects of the original final product. And it's a really great experience to be here, so you guys should really definitely think about joining it because it's awesome. Thanks for joining us at CAP TV. We're kicking off this episode with a feature from one of Capital's art students, Shay Zalea. She's going to be telling us all about her work and her store. Let's take a look. My name is Shaylin Joy Zalea, and I am an artist. My major is fine arts and a minor in marketing and digital design. I try to bring as much art into my home as I possibly can because it's the space that I'm spending the most time in. It's the space where I create my artwork, so I need that creative influence in my home. I've made tables to put plants on, um, wall decorations with crocheted tapestries. I've painted little banners and I've made like tiny little trinkets. Uh, throughout my home. I did do stained glass on my windows. Um, the process with that is just Elmer's glue and acrylic paint and it's peelable so it doesn't ruin the windows. The digital art that is shown is my newest project that I'm working on. It's I'm working on the ABC bugs so I'm doing all of the illustrations for all 26 letters of the alphabet in different types of bugs with different fonts and my goal is to possibly create a children's book or my own design for teachers to use in their own classroom. I also made this. <laughs> <laughs> I used bleach and a paintbrush and I painted the skeleton on my shirt. I've been working on that piece for many months now. I only have a few elements left to work on but I really just wanted to capture a more symmetrical element that nature proposes, including all of the rainbows. I think that's like a really big um, motif throughout my work is yeah. including, you know, rainbow elements and mm -hmm. symmetry. I made the canvas using a old mirror. Um, it, the mirror broke, so I used the frame of it to stretch the canvas around and paint on top. I love bugs <laughs> so much. Um, I did a series of beetles. It started off with one painting, and that wasn't enough for me. The background of each bug is a different color of the rainbow, and I used the complementary color of the bug to pair it with. It's honestly a challenging thing to decide what I want to bring to Capitol and what I want to leave at home because I just want to use all of my projects all at once. Mm -hmm. But um, this semester is a little bit different because I'm pre preparing for uh, Yellow Spring Street Fair in October 14. I will be having my first booth with my own little shop of little trinkets. Um, so those are my current projects that I'm working on. So I've brought ceramics and yarn for crochet. I have a many paints. <laughs> I just get, for, for my birthday and stuff, they're like, oh, you're an artist. Here's paint. But 
I'm also painting on bones. I think that's just a fun medium to do. Mm -hmm. I don't see a lot of people painting on bones. I collect my trinkets over a course of many years, and it really just depends on like what events I go to and the mood I'm feeling in. Um, my the recent thing I got was just these tiny little people that I plan on gonna hide them in my dorm room. To be honest. <laughs> My shop is called Shaylin Joy's Trinket Trove. For my booth, I plan on having ceramic skull necklaces that I've made. I've made mushroom necklaces to put lip, lipstick or um, like little rocks in. I've made, you know, hair ties that look like sprouts on the top of your head. Um, painted rocks, painted bones, more ceramic stuff, more crocheted items. A little bit of everything to kind of satisfy the overall taste of people, you know? My Instagram is Shaylin Joy Art, and my website name is shaylinzalea.weebly.com. Welcome to the drunk drawer of the art realm, also known as Trinket Trove. If you're still watching, this is the hole in the wall art community where art is for everybody and their grandma, aunt, and uncle, and everybody's trash is another person's treasure. Thank you so much for sharing your work with us, Shay. After the break, we're going to get a painting tutorial from Cat TV's John, who might be inspired by a beloved artist. You'll just have to wait and see. This is a Capital University public service announcement. sports. It saves lives. been yearning to join. Hello Cap TV. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to be painting a lovely set of mountains on here with some beautiful trees to kind of represent the nature. Right now I have on my palette here, it's got a yellow and a green. You can see they're already trying to mingle with each other. They're so excited to get on the canvas. It's got a nice lighter blue in here. And I'm going to throw some fire red on here. Now what we're working with here is we don't have a lot of tools here, but we're going to let the art sort of speak for itself. So what we're going to start with is getting some of those blues in here, getting them all sort of acclimated towards the base. We're going to set up our little horizon line here so we know what to work around. This horizon line is going to be kind of what we call home. We're going to live around this area. We're going to paint around it, let it breathe. Now, it's going to take a little while to fill in. We don't have a lot of tools here, but that's okay. We're going to let our art and let our feelings speak for us. Now, as you can see, painting on a white canvas. We don't have any white colors, but that's okay. We can make do. What we're going to do is we're going to kind of let up here just sort of stand still by itself. Because that's okay. That is completely okay. We are in no time rush here. We are in no worries. We're letting our emotions sort of speak on the canvas. Now, we're going to try and get, get a little bit of movement going on in here. 
you know, try and get some motion. You can see we've got some deeper blues, deeper blues, and even throughout doing this, just to kind of show that we're carefree. We don't really have any obligation to follow some sort of pattern, some sort of rules here. We're doing this on our own. Let's let those mountains sort of breathe up top. And now, people might be focused on, does this look good, John? Is this good? Am I doing it right? I don't see the point in that. Now, when I talk to the canvas, which is what I'm doing right now, not only am I talking to you, trying to tell the canvas what I want, you know? I can't demand anything from the canvas. I have to tell the canvas what I'm looking for. And what I'm looking for is those light blues at the bottom, as you can see. You know what? I'm kind of feeling like this little bottom left corner here. Why not some snow? You know, who's telling us what we can and can't do? And if you're painting along with me, first of all, thank you. Welcome. Get some pocket tissues and clean off that brush. We're going to start with some new colors here. We're going to introduce some greens into the landscape. Now, it's not completely dry, but, you know, never hurt anybody here. Let's try and throw some, throw some of those happy little trees that you've heard so much about in here. Wow, isn't that just a nice green color here? Isn't that, isn't that just rich and deep? It's very nice. It's very nice. Now we're going to kind of give it some definition up here. You know, we're working with more of a, more of an aspen pine in here, and we'll try and throw some red in here. You know, art is just kind of about trying to make something happen. You know, you don't want to force anything. You just kind of want to, just kind of want to go with the flow. You know, you're not trying to make anything. You're not trying to. Once again, tell the canvas what to do. You're going to do it. And that's okay. See, as you can see here, we're getting some, <laughs> getting some texture in there. Boy, isn't that really bringing some depth to our image? Now let's get some, <laughs> let's get some, some greens going <laughs> over here. Wow, that's a really, really good tree. That is just gorgeous. <laughs> All right, let's let's keep doing some more trees on here. Wow. You see that? You see that? You want to know what that is? That's the canvas working. That's the power of art, you know? You don't have to expect anything. You just have to deliver on your promise to the canvas that you're going to speak and you're going to add feeling. And you're, you're going to give these trees some, some much needed texture. That's what we're going to do. Now, I don't know about you, but not really afraid to get my hands dirty here. So that's why we have the tissue on the side, you know. You're going to get some paints on you, but I think that kind of really makes you a part of the canvas here. So you can really add really add <laughs> depth. Now, let's let's grab another tissue here, my trusty pocket tissues and let's just start fresh and let's try and try and really fill in that that mountain here. Boy, oh boy, isn't that getting filled in quite nicely, if I do say so myself. We're getting some greens in there, you know. That is that is okay. That's expected, you know. These, When you look at this painting, you know what I see? I see some happy little trees here. These trees are a little big because they've got bigger dreams. And thank you. That's our painting. This is great. Thank you. I mean, you didn't even need to use all the colors for it. No, I don't so need any of those colors. Yeah. Thank you so much. This is a lovely painting in homage to Bob Ross. I hope our viewers at home are feeling inspired and relaxed. And when we come back from this break, we're going to take a look at a special art spot on Kaplan's campus. Thank you. Thank you, Madison. I just want to boast about the best. 
best what? Lip smacking ribs and slamming chicken. I just want to boast about the best. I just want to boast about the best what? B and K Smokehouse is main of champion. has a gallery right here on campus. Located on the fourth floor of the library, Schumacher Gallery has a variety of displays for students and the community to admire. Let's take a look at it. Sir? Hey, can I ask you a question? <laughs> Were you aware that campus has a whole uh, art gallery above no. the library? No. It's over, it's over there. Let's go check it out. Wow. <laughs> So right now, we're coming up the stairs in the Blackmore Library to check out the Schumacher Art Gallery. This is my first time coming up here, so I'm going to take you guys on this little journey with me. This looks like a museum in here. <laughs> so this is, according to my documents, is the Photography Gallery, which is comprised of many notable artists. Um, and that add to the rich diversity of the gallery's collections. So some names like Io Bing, Larry Fink, Ken Heyman, Jeanette Clute, and shout out to Herman Leonard. All right, so the next stop on our tour is down here to the Graphics Gallery, which features works from artists like Picasso and George Bellows. All right, well, this is a nice little setup over here. Okay, let's see who this is. This is Pietro Montana from Italy. Bronze. Look at the stair. <laughs> All right. This is Pablo Picasso. Like I said, the jeune femme a lithograph in 1949. Um, yeah. It's all right. I think I could paint it that, but it's whatever. <laughs> What's this say? The ing, the ingress young men of today, the boo, g. Roi of tomorrow. Oh no, the English young men of today become the bourgeois of tomorrow. Don't know what that means, but hey, art is interpretive. That looks interesting. We're gonna go and step over here. We're going to the African Gallery. The African Gallery celebrates art from all over Africa and is one of the largest collections on display in the state. In the state. This is nice. I don't know if you've ever seen Black Panther, but in the beginning of Black Panther, when Killmonger's walking around, he sees, like, a whole bunch of stuff like this, and then he, like, you know, gets into his villain stuff. But anyway, <laughs> um, this is an unknown artist from Cote d'Ivoire, Mali, um, 20th century. This is made out of wood. What in the world? This doesn't even look like wood. Wow. I wonder how one even goes about making stuff like this. Art is just so amazing. Mm. Mm, I'm inspired in here. I feel so close to my roots. I'm Jamaican, not African. <laughs> but still. <laughs> what is this? Um, this is an other known, unknown artist from Nigeria. It's an equestrian figure. Hmm. Looks like an army man. He's got his uh, rifle and his horsey. Okay. There are a lot of unknown artists in the African section. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Next up, we have the Inuit Gallery, which is one of the largest collections of carvings in the Midwest. So it appears that everything in here was carved, which is very impressive, considering I only know how to carve soap, and I can't even do that well. Um, these are nice. I wonder, I wonder how much a lot of stuff in here goes for. Uh, these are interesting. One thing I don't get about art is a lot of people will pay a lot of money for stuff that doesn't look like it should be worth that much. But that's just me. To each his own. 
<laughs> oh, it's a walrus. This is a walrus. Um, Mary Parr, Cape Dorset, 1975. Oh, and it's titled Walrus. Interesting, because it's it is a walrus. <laughs> oh, pigeons. Um, I'm, I like the animal stuff a lot more than the people stuff. Me personally, but everyone's entitled to their own opinion when it comes to art. That's why art is so awesome. <laughs> so we've been to Africa and the Inuits. Now we are showing our love and appreciation to the Asian culture. The Asian collection acquaints visitors with the beauty of traditional and contemporary Asian art, including stuff from the Ming Dynasty, Tang Dynasty, and is one of the only permanent collections in the entire city. One thing I noticed about the Asian uh, gallery, there's a lot of clay work. Like, we saw a lot of stone and wood in the other collections. Everything here looks to be made out of clay and just hardened. This is another unknown artist, Thailand. Another unknown. A lot in common with the African gallery, it seems. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, unknown, unknown, unknown. <laughs> well... Whoever made these, I would just like to personally give you your flowers because these are absolutely beautiful. And I appreciate you, whoever you are. Tang Dynasty. That's who they remember, so. What if this was all the same person? That'd be cool. So this is the last gallery. This gallery is the Ohio Artist Gallery, which focuses on artworks from our state. The Ohio collection features prominent artists such as George Bellows, Charles Birchfield, and Robert Honoré. So all these people are from my town. Big O-H-I-O in here. Yet another hidden gem on Capitol's campus. After the break, we'll be testing some Capitol student knowledge on Shakespeare and Taylor Swift lines. We're back in the studio to play a game between two artists from very different time periods, Shakespeare and Taylor Swift. We are joined by Jaden and Aaron to see if they can tell the differences between Taylor Swift lyrics and Shakespeare lines. This is Taylor Swift or Shakespeare. Welcome. Thank Welcome. You. If you couldn't tell, I am a Swifty. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, we tried to get people who didn't know too much about lyrics um, and maybe convert them. Who knows? Because I am... I love lyrics, so I'm very excited for this game. Okay. So, how do y'all feel? Excited? I am. You think, yeah. Do you think you're going to do well? What I do think best? so. I think yeah? so. I'm definitely more of a Shakespeare fan than okay. a Taylor Swift fan, but we'll, oh. we'll see. We'll test it. <laughs> cool. Well, so the first, the first quote. I bathe in cliffside pools with my calamitous love and insurmountable grief. Who do you think wrote it? Swift or Shakespeare? It's got to be Shakespeare. Shakespeare. A lot of syllables in those words. That is from funny. Evermore, my friends. Wait, the lakes. No, it's from, it's from Book One. Wait, so that is Taylor Swift. Yes. No way. Yeah, it is. Very much, very much <laughs> is. All right, Taylor. No way. Second one. My tongue will tell the anger of my heart, or else my heart concealing it will break. What do y'all think? No way. They I got, it's got to be Shakespeare again. I honestly. think it's... Yeah, I don't think Both they'll, say Shakespeare? they're not going to yeah. put two Tay-Tays in Nah, no way. Tay-Tay <laughs> ain't going to say That is, in fact, Shakespeare. Got that one. Good work. Good. All right, number three. Your touch brought forth an incandescent glow, tarnished but so grand. Swift or Shakespeare? That's a, that's a tough one. 
don't yeah, know. Yeah, they might be trying to throw us off and put two Shakespeare's in a row. Yeah. So because it looks so simple, you'd think it was Taylor Swift. I think I'm going Swifty, honestly. Going Swift? What about go, you, Jay? I'm going to go with Shakespeare. Shakespeare. It is Taylor Swift. Wow. Taylor I Swift. I suck at this game. <laughs> 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 you got the Shakespeare one right. So, all right. Number four. Did the twin flame bruise paint you blue? Paint you blue, I think I... Paint you blue. I think that's Shakespeare. Yeah. Shakespeare? That has, like, dramatic... The well, the, sec- the, the first one, though, doesn't that give dr- drama? I think I'm going Taylor Swift. The I'm whole point of this is to confuse you. I'm going, sh- I'm going Shakespeare. <laughs> Once again, that is Taylor, Allison Swift. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. I'm, this is great. All right, number five. Some rise by sin and some by virtue fall. Swift or Shakespeare? That's a tough one. I'm going to have to go with Shakespeare. Shakespeare? Aaron says Shakespeare. Jaden, what's the verdict? Aaron's been on fire, so I'm going to go with Shakespeare. Shakespeare? Shakespeare it is Shakespeare. All right. Great work. <laughs> Aaron, are you, are you... Oh, wait, just the first one yeah. that you got. Yeah. You, you underestimated her. You underestimated her. <laughs> Number six. Take the words for what they are. A dwindling mercurial high. Taylor or the Bard? Hmm. Using the word mercurial in a song. The modern Bard like or she's... the Bard? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say, Aaron? I'm gonna have to go with Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift? Yeah. Jaden? He hasn't said Taylor Swift on any of these. What they are, yeah. Hey, just go Swifty. <laughs> yeah, that's probably, yeah. Go yeah. Swifty. Oh, no, no, no. What, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going Shakespeare, Shakespeare, Shakespeare. Shakespeare? That's Taylor Swift. That's oh, my God. <laughs> A dwindling mercurial. <laughs> All right. Number seven. Walls of insincerity, shifting eyes in vacancy, vanished when I saw your face. Walls Very of romantic. Shifting eyes in vacancy, vanished when I saw she, your face. I just that feel like, be. I feel like she never <laughs> sing about that. Yeah, yeah, that's why. not her. Like that's not, not her. her I mean, yeah. I don't know what her. That's, that's not a Taylor Swift type of vibe. What do y'all think? You got like Shakespeare. Yeah, Shakespeare? Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Taylor Swift. Oh, wait. That's Taylor Swift. Oh. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. That's Taylor Swift. <laughs> never heard that one before. Number eight. <laughs> if music be the food of love, play on. Taylor Swift. It's Taylor got, Swift. It's got the word music in it. Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Jaden, that is Shakespeare. Huh. Nice work. Ah. Good wait, work. Man. See, these are tripping you up. <laughs> Nine. All the world's a stage, and all the men and women are merely players. Shakespeare. I, that's Shakespeare. I think I've heard, I've read a book where Shakespeare said that. Aaron? I think. Taylor Swift. That's Shakespeare. Ah. This oh. is fun. <laughs> okay. Number ten. I'd meet you where the spirit meets the bones in a faith-forgotten land. I, I think I'm ready to go with Tay-Tay for this one. Aaron? Tay-tay. That is Taylor Swift. Oh. Good work. You're catching on. You're catching on. Yeah. I got a few few to throw at you, though. Okay. Second to last. Cowards die many times before their deaths. The valiant never taste of death but once. That's got to be William Shakespeare. Yeah, no, no questions. Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift. Shakespeare. All right. One more. Your faithless loves the only hoax I believe in. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. That is Taylor Swift. I think you got caught on it. Well, thank you so much for joining me for this great segment. Mm-hmm. We had such a great time, and I, I really, catching her, you off guard with the first one, do you think yeah. you're going to listen to Taylor Swift? What's the deal? Um, so. You need to listen to Evermore Folklore at least. Yeah. I want to be a Swift. I probably will. Yes. Yeah, if probably you want not. recommendations, <laughs> I will definitely hit you up. Sweet. Yeah. Well, good. Thank you so much for joining, thank joining thank for us, yeah. and... I will definitely, if you want playlists, and I hope that anyone playing along at home as well got to, What did you do? I was, I was got thinking, playlists for you guys. You want to playlists. I got playlists. <laughs> Perfect. Well, thank you so, so much. Thank you. Wow, that huh? this is the finale, y'all. We we had John Ross uh, continue it, so to finish done. up the rest of the show, we have this fantastic piece. Sit in a nice piece. It is great. It is absolutely it? great. Yeah, sign it. Yeah. Sign Let me it. Get that in there. Wow, we have concluded yet another episode of Cap TV. You got? Oh, okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Thank you for watching and appreciating what artists have to offer. We will see you next week.